Today, I am going to teach you how I made 2.6 million silver with less than 30 minutes of effort by crafting royal cows. You heard it right, that much profit with so little effort. In this video, I am going to explain why this works and how you can take advantage of this method daily. As always, I did not use any focus points to make a ton of silver in this method. So even if you don't have premium, you can still do it. The demand for royal cows mainly come from Hellgates, where there are quick fights and there are guaranteed winners and losers. The royal cow gives the user unlimited energy for 15 seconds, making it extremely useful mainly for healers with their infinite mana builds, although this is not limited to these kinds of players. Crafting royal cows is fairly simple. You need any cloth helmet and two royal sigils. Although the recipe is simple, there are multiple ways to maximize your profit when crafting them. I will show you the best way to do it and explain why other methods do not work as well as this does. The most common tier for royal cows is 4.2 and that is what we are going to craft in this video. This tier has the highest demand, so it makes sense to focus on crafting this specific tier. The first thing that I did was to buy tier 4.1 cloth directly from the market. I usually buy one full stack per crafting session. Since I needed to craft 4.2 royal cows to take advantage of the demand, I also placed buy orders for tier 4 souls. We are going to use this later to upgrade the tier 4.1 royal cows to 4.2. An important thing to note here is you need 48 souls to upgrade royal cows to one enchantment higher. Since I do this regularly, I can estimate how many cows a stack of cloth can make, so I also know how many souls I need per crafting session. And I can also use the extra ones for next time. But if you are doing this for the very first time, you can buy the cloth first, craft them, and then place your buy orders for souls so that you can maximize your profits. Now the first question that you might have is why not just buy 4.2 cloth in the first place? The answer is because there was not enough supply of 4.2 cloth in the market when I recorded this video, making it more expensive to use. I also used the gear crafting calculator that I created to verify this. If I used 4.1 cloth to craft the cows and then used souls to upgrade them, it would be a lot cheaper than just using 4.2 cloth to get the cows. I will let you know how you too can get access to this awesome money making calculators at the end of this video. I then looked for the mage tower with the lowest usage fee in the city and crafted the 4.1 cloth into scholar cows. Any cows will do for this method, so I do suggest crafting the ones with your highest spec to increase the chance of making higher quality items to increase your profits. I also used a potato salad to again help with getting better quality items. For this session, I was able to craft 147 scholar cows with various qualities. Another important thing that you need to do is to reroll the normal quality items. Based on my experience, normal quality royal cows sell a lot slower than other qualities. So it is absolutely worth it to reroll the normal quality ones. After that, I placed buy orders for royal sigils. Remember, you need two sigils per cow. This is where the majority of the cost is going to come from. When I turned the scholar cows to royal cows, I used my own tier 4 mage tower on my island because of the zero usage fee. This is one of the rare occasions where it is actually better to use your own plots rather than the ones in the city. The biggest reason is, when crafting royal cows or any royal items for that matter, there are no resource return rates. In this specific case, the plots in the cities are actually not helping you save silver, so feel free to use the ones that you have. You only need tier 4 mage tower to do this method anyways. But if you don't have one, do not worry, you can still use the ones in the city, specifically if you're just trying this method out. It doesn't actually cost that much for this specific step. But for me who does this regularly, 
Investing a little bit of silver to build a tier 4 mage tower is absolutely worth it. The next step is to sell all royal cows to the marketplace. I was able to craft 147 with various qualities and sold them for 1 silver less than the lowest sell order. Another question that you might have is, can you actually sell all these royal cows? And the answer is yes. There is enough demand for these items daily because of its usability. Now let's take a look at the cost analysis. For this session, the overall cost was 3.6 million silver, including all of the items used, all of the fees, and of course, the taxes. After selling the royal cows with various qualities, I was able to make 6.3 million silver, making the overall profit for this one equal to 2.6 million silver, which is incredible because I did not use focus, and more importantly, I did not transport anything, which saved me a lot of time. This is also what makes this a glass cannon money-making method. Because anyone can actually do it, you may see a dip in the selling price of this specific item. I did this method in the city of Caerleon, where the demand is high, but you can also do this in outside cities as well. Just look at the demand of the royal cows first, and how much you can buy the items to make one. When trying this method for the first time, only craft a handful of items instead of going all in. As I said in my previous videos, do not try to replicate the profits that I made in this video, but instead, understand the concept of the method and implement it with your own twist. Try to find ways to save on cost and try to make more silver than I did. These kinds of money-making videos tend to be trendy. All of the players do it all at the same time and forget about it the next day. This is why I created the calculators to help players discover new ways to make silver like what I did for this video. And you can get access to these calculators by earning our Twitch channel points called Stones. I will leave my Twitch link in the description below. You automatically earn these stones even when lurking, but you earn way more when you interact with the chat. We also host daily giveaways for 7-day premiums, mount skins, and skin bundles. So there's that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe because I am going to upload more ways to make more silver in Albion Online. Also, let me know what other methods you want me to cover. Leave a comment if you have any questions and join our Discord channel to be updated on what's happening in the world of Albion Online. Enjoy making more silver and I will see you in the next one. Peace.